guys, I'm Layla. Welcome. So today we have a showcase for Acresia. Little Miss Boss thing here, right? And this showcase can be courtesy of SJ, guys. SJ also has a YouTube channel, so I'm going to have his link down below. Make sure you subscribe to that. And we're going to be in Hard Spider. But basically, Acresia is going to be the focus for today. So you are going to see is that she has a speed set and then she also does have this one resilience set and some broken pieces. We do have one specialty ring looks like a blood shield ring. So let's check out her stats and for spider's den, we are going to see she has about 45,000 HP, 2,300 on the attack. She has a 2,000 on the defense, 230 speed. She is crit capped with 244% on the crit damage. She's 103 resistance with 92 on the accuracy. I want to say she's booked. She is fully booked. Yep, yep, yep. And then her masteries, we have offense and defense. So you don't see behind me is we have methodical, we have kill streak, and then her T6 is going to be war master. Okay. So now the rest of this team is going to be Siffy, Michi, Mithrala, and of course, Royal Guard. So at this time too, I know some people are asking me about Royal Guard. So I will go over his kit again quickly. Royal Guard's an epic, so he should be a lot easier to get than, you know, some of these other ones as well. And he really is just, he's such a heavy hitter, kind of like Coldheart, right? Really great champ to just have in your arsenal. And he is a four star blessed as well. So with him, we are going to see that we have one cruel set. We do also have a crit damage set. And then with him, we also have a divine speed set, okay? No special accessories, but when we go to Spider, we see he has 39,000 HP. Yeah, 39,000. 3,900 attack, 1,600 defense, 212 speed. He's crit capped with 232% on the crit damage, 67 resistance, and then 134 on the accuracy. He should be fully booked. He's an epic. And so his blessing looks like SJ went with Hero's Soul. Increases damage afflicted to bosses and their minions according to the number of living enemies. So again, that looks like that's going to work pretty well in Spider, right? Because right now we end up having it's plus 1% damage for each enemy. We have attack plus a 300 and we have the crit damage plus 1500 and then the HP plus 1000. And for his masteries, we end up having offense and support. So we, you actually, you actually do see behind me here is that with him, we end up having flawless execution to get him a little bit more crit damage. Because remember, we're taking him into hard spider 10, which means his ability here, you know, these ones here that, you know, increase according to ME max HP and such like with him and with cold heart is it scales less. Like it doesn't necessarily start to work as you move up. So of course having the extra crit damage is going to help mitigate that and help give us a little bit more damage there. But this is going to be the team with Acresia being kind of the primary focus. And again, we're expecting, you know, Acresia, Michi and Royal Guard to probably do like a good amount of damage in this hard spider, right? They're basically going to be our heavy hitters here. So let's head over into the dungeon. All right, guys, so here we are. Here's our team for hard spider stage 10. So you can see that Mithrala is in the lead for our ally accuracy in battles by 80. We have our crazy Siffy, Michi, you're so fun, and Royal Guard. And I'm in here, new term of position. There we go. I don't want to click on that and have it kick me out, right? So let's check the precess before we hop on here. Is Mithrala, we're going to start with her Sigil of Toxic Glory, which would be the AoE Hex, increased defense and attack, into Bribing Silex, which removes all debuffs from allies as a strength and a shield. A crazy is going to be Battlefield Domination, AoE Shield, into Shutdown, which hits twice, has a chance of seeing 100% of the turn meter. Siffy Whirlwind Romance does block debuffs on allies, increase defense and speed, and Love Beyond Death revives an ally, which we may not necessarily need that, but also increase attack and crit rate. Mitchy Dire Whirl. Hey, Pain Train, what? 68 months. What? Oh my gosh. Dr. Pain Train is now in the house and seeing patients. Dr. Pain Train is now in the house and seeing patients. Thank you, Dr. Pain Train. I appreciate that. I hope you're good. 68 months. Which, by the way, guys, my stream, I feel like my stream anniversary is coming up end of November. 
And in like two weeks is my partner anniversary too. All kinds of stuff going on, right? So Mitchie, AOE decreased defense and attack and a hex. And then for World Guard, we're gonna do his hamstring, which is four times at random decreased speed. And then the takedown, which is an AOE. Also, you know, scales according to enemy max HP. So the thing is like, we know that that doesn't necessarily do as much damage on these dungeons. However, they still hit pretty hard. All right, here we go. All right, let's see how we do. Crazy, I bring it girl. Look at that. Thwack. Okay. Acrisia is a champ I don't have that I would love to have as well. Okay. And look at that Royal Guard. There definitely are some champs. Like we've talked about this a bunch of times. There's some champs that are pretty great and they're not Legos, but you know, you get like a cold heart, a Royal guard and they could do some serious damage for sure. They really can. So I'm curious to see between Royal guard and Acrisia, how much damage the two of them do. All right, so Acrisia, look at that five mil. Look at Mitchie. Mitchie almost four, six. Royal guard, one, five. Look at that damage, huh? And the thing is, so Crazy had like that one AOE there, right? Where she basically like wiped everybody. She had the one AOE with Michi at 4'6", a Royal Guard. Absolutely crazy. Absolutely a bananas. SJ, thank you so much for, you know, showing us your crazy guys. I'm going to have some links down below for his YouTube channel. Make sure you check them out. And thanks so much.